It will be Jane Euchre to jump with Jaleesa Avery. Avery started nine games a season ago. And we are underway as the Falcons win the tip. Bowling Green head coach Robin Fralick, her second season at the helm. It's the Falcons by four. Good look to the back side. Now inside, it's knocked out of bounds by Euchre. Terry, that time you had Kirkwood and Ellie Joe Johnson basically in the same spot. Shot clock winding down. And Moorhead State did not realize. Great defense by the Falcons. You know, in so many situations there on some of those penetrations, it's such a tendency to reach and pick up a ticky-tack there. Our first time out. Bowling Green leading Moorhead State 10 to five with six minutes gone by. And the Falcons from long range getting it done. How about Katerion Thompson? No hesitation there. Kaylee Hall found an open lane after Alford went for the steal and Kaylee Hall is gonna shoot too. Her first basket as a Falcon came on a steal and an and one. Just a hard-nosed player. You see the gamble here by Moorhead State. And Hall gets to the rim. It's going to get two free throws on the late help by Moorhead State. She earned a silver medal with the U16 Canadian basketball team at the FIBA Americas. And she knocks down the first. Falcons with Hall, Hempfling. Parker, Euchre, and McMillan on the floor. And speaking of McMillan, there's a three. Morgan McMillan. Brett inside, lost it. Still loose. Here's Ariel Kirkwood, and she was bumped. Trying to push it up the floor. That'll go against Mari Hill. Ariel Kirkwood, Associated Press, All-State, honorable mention her senior year. She had a double-double in that exhibition, 14 points, 11 boards. You have the shooter coming off, and the Thompson came off of that, and so she's able to knock that down. So you have to respect that curl cut there, and just that little fake there gave her a wide-open lane right to the bucket. Hall, a little bit of pain. She was shaking that right wrist. Final seconds of the first half. Nieves, runner. Bowling Green, a strong first half on their home floor. The Falcons will go to the locker room with a 24-point lead on Moorhead State. Meet Falcon punter. Uh, Brian Smitabush. That would be Smitabush. Difficult to pronounce and even more challenging to spell. It's S-C-H-M-I-E-D-B-U-S-C-H. S-C-H-I-M-I-D-T-B-U-S-H. Actually, S-C-H-M-I-E-D-E-B-U S C H Schmidabush. Schmidabush? Um Schmidimbush. Schwemidebush. While his name may confound even the most articulate, Brian's rock solid play has come across loud and clear. Through eight games this season, he's punted 39 times for an average of 46 yards, and nearly half of those efforts have traveled at least 50. I guess it is a little bit better than expected because I didn't know about the environment and the atmosphere coming up here, you know, playing bigger schools as well, and I didn't know if that was going to have an effect on, you know, my kicking game or not getting nervous or whatever. Those numbers are nothing new, however. Smitabush, now in his sophomore year, has performed well at every level. First back in high school when he averaged a booming 44 yards a kick, and then at his first collegiate stop, the University of Finley. It's all about your drops and your steps and just getting the, the ball off on the you know, right part of your foot and the following through, and that's basically about it. But Brian has also uncovered another secret, 
the weight room's helped out a lot, I think, with a new strength coach, with the new different uh, types of lift we've been doing, doing a lot of explosion workouts. So I think that might have helped out a lot too. Put on like 20 pounds as well, so with, uh, you know more strength and power with the kicks too. So. Smitabush hopes to work with the FBI or the Secret Service upon graduation, and when the time comes, hopefully the government will spell his name correctly. It's usually uncommon for someone to find their passion at a young age. For sophomore gymnast Jamila Ali, she knew right away. At the age of five, Jamila knew that gymnastics would become a big part of her life. Growing up in New Jersey, Jamila competed on an elite level and was state vault and floor champion in 2009. Jamila would then be recruited to BGSU by gymnastics head coach, Carrie Beach. She's truly someone that turns heads at competitions. People want to watch her. The judges enjoy judging her. Uh, and I think she's only going to continue to progress as a student athlete here. Last year, Jamila was named 2012 MAC Freshman of the Year, only the third Falcon in school history to do so. It was it's an exciting thing to happen, just something to move ahead and have bigger competence later on. This season, she has continued her success. Jamila was named Gymnast of the Week in January. Her vault score of 9.85 was the highest in the MAC that week. However, there's still more to accomplish. Our main goal is to make it to the postseason, to NCAA regionals uh, as a team. We've had several individuals qualify, and we seem to keep getting more individuals qualifying with a record number that we had last year. Uh, but we'd like to go there as a team. Come on, let's! Even though being a gymnast can be more fun, Jamila knows the importance of being a student athlete. Well, school's always been important to me. Like, I'm here for a degree, and that's what's going to, like, help me in the future more. You know, they'll be a better athlete if they feel they're organized and prepared in their schoolwork. Jamila has had as much success in the classroom as she has with the sport. She came here two years ago as a political science major, but has since then changed her major to macroeconomics. I just wanted something that I could do more with, like, help the world with more, I guess. Jamila plans to apply her degree both here and in other countries. I just think it's really interesting to see like how the economy actually works and like how we can fix it and how it's different from other like economies around the world. I like one day want to travel the world and go to different places and like see that firsthand. But no matter where her career takes her, gymnastics will always make her feel at home. I definitely want to look up student coaching. I think it'll always be a part of my life, just not sure how big. But...